Provident was formed in 1987, coming out of the restoration and renovation business in Halifax. Our primary purpose then was to renovate older homes, and restoration was our biggest one. And we worked on homes that were usually 200 year old plus, taking them back to their former glory. From there, one guy came in one day and said, you ever try building new homes? I said, no, and he said, let's give it a try. And I said, I'm in. Three months later, we formed Provident Development. We built three homes the first year. The next year, we built 85. I never expected that. And uh, then we sort of moved on, and we realized that we had a talent in-house to do all our designs. We built our first home, our own design, and completely done in home, and we haven't changed since. Well, five years ago, Provident started off in the Energuide program. So as house builders were moving towards improved energy efficiencies, the Energuide program came about and we participated in Energuide. Net Zero is a natural evolution for us, a progression from Energuide as we continually improve the efficiency and cost effectiveness of energy efficient homes. Net Zero Energy to me is basically a house that produces as much energy as it consumes. The challenge we have is that we were given can we produce this in a suburban setting, in a production manner, cost effectively? What we did find was that it was cost effective to get to a net zero energy ready platform, which was only short of the installation of the photovoltaic cells to generate electricity and resell it back through reverse metering to the utility. We've now created what we think is a cost effective net zero energy ready home that we could eventually adopt very near in the future as our standard. The future of housing in Nova Scotia is really important. It's about energy efficiency. It's about creating homes where people live in and where they raise their families in. Homes that really take a look at what the families need and energy efficiency tops that list. Well, it's the first time that a project like this has been done in Atlantic Canada, so we're very proud that uh, Provident could be the leader in it. And it means that our builders are going to learn from it and that they'll be able to incorporate it in what they're doing as well. So it's taking energy efficiency to the next level. It'll inspire our manufacturers to bring us better and better products products because that's where the true cost savings are for the customers. It's cheaper to conserve energy in the first place, to need less than it is to generate it. We've been doing it for three years now, so I think the surprise over the three years has been that the technology costs are certainly coming down. And I think as this type of initiative takes hold and people grab onto it and it becomes, you know, you can produce these technologies in mass, that makes the cost come down. And what will also happen going forward is utility rates will increase. So with rates increasing, technology costs decreasing, all of this will eventually create a recipe for cost-effective net zero going forward. Net zero is the pinnacle in energy efficiency. It's the perfect balance between environmental stewardship and enhanced occupant comfort. We all want to be uh, green communities. We all want to have accessible, affordable homes for all of our citizens. And it's really cool when you have houses like this, which have the potential to produce as much energy as they consume. I think that's good for everybody. Beautiful homes, uh, energy efficient, uh, good for the environment, good for health, good for communities. It's a win-win. I think it's good for, for everybody. Atlantic Canada is a wonderfully affordable place to live and raise a family. And home ownership is an important part of our culture. As we introduce more and more innovative ways to reduce our energy costs, we decrease and further decrease the cost of running our homes. We can open up home ownership to a whole new group of people. I hope by 2030 we meet our goal and everyone in Canada is living in a new net zero energy. We'd like to continue with the net zero, but getting beyond the ready point to a, to a full net zero project. We're hoping over the next few years to all of our homes that we built will be net zero ready and we're hoping from that the cost will be low enough that we can actually go full net zero.